Psalm chapter 109 The Restless God Verse 1 O God, I praise you. Do not remain silent. If someone were to listen to David's prayer by side, they would think that David is the most wronged person in the world. David is holding a shield and redirecting the arrows of his adversaries towards God. As God watches both David and his adversaries, what solution will he offer? Christians define themselves as sinners. Have they directly sinned against God? It is possible to claim that they have sinned against an invisible God. A subject that cannot be physically or biologically specified, only if the following logic is assumed, if a person cannot treat another person, or more broadly. A creature cannot treat another creature properly cannot establish a proper relationship, then it is a sin against God. Jesus confirmed this logic by summarizing the core of the law-loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself are the same thing. Giving a cup of water to a small and weak person is the same as doing it for me. However, at some point, Christians become deeply moved by God's forgiveness. What would David's feelings be when his adversaries received forgiveness from Yahweh? Can the numerous wronged Davids of the past and present endure the forgiven Christians? How should God deal with the wronged Davids and those who have wronged them? The need for God's solution to surpass human imagination is highlighted here. It is precisely there that the so-called mind of God, his will, will be revealed. God cannot help but be restless, for he must not only listen to David's defensive prayer, but also accept the repentance of those who have harmed David, and still take care of those who continue to do more wrong among them. However, God's hesitation will bring warmth to all of them. Christians are people who trust in that kind of God.